talk to us and eat, and uh, it just the prayers have just made an amazing, amazing difference in our life. Uh, I just wanted to uh, share that testimony also, just how much your prayers have helped Grandma Nyomi, because we've seen people get healed as people pray for them, and right here in our house we've seen Grandma Nyomi be healed as all of you have been praying for her. It's just amazing. Uh, Psalm 103 says that God forgives all of our iniquities and heals all of our diseases. Matthew 8, 17 says that Jesus took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses, carried our sicknesses. Because Jesus died on the cross for us, we are healed. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5 says that we are healed by the stripes, wounds, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for healing us all and for helping us all and for healing my grandma. And we're claiming the total healing of my food allergies also. I thank God that I'm totally healed also. Anyhow, I love you all, and we're praying for you. We're going to be taking care of Grandma Naomi here right now. And have a good day. God bless all. Amen. Whew. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm I'm just uh, I'm overwhelmed tonight that uh, so many has obeyed the Lord. I sit for so long doing these programs, and sometimes you think, well, you know. Am I wasting my time? You know, I'm 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 not reaching a lot of people. I can reach more at the Walmart and uh, uh, preach in the parking lot, and uh, you know. But then you realize, uh, then you realize that there's Grandma Naomi, and it's worth every step. It's worth every every hour I sit here and and study the word to to minister forth what God gives me and every every address that I write down to mail out the crosses and it's worth every attack of the enemy that he can throw at me when I hear all of you call in and obey the Lord and and telling how good God is because that's what makes us overcomers you see and then you're showing the love for one another uh, you know and that that's how the world knows that we are a separated people that uh, because we love one another and uh, that's powerful and uh, tonight my heart is touched uh, man I'm just I, I'm just lost with words right now and that and that is unique for me but um, to hear uh, Brother Boyd's mother reminds me so much of my mother, which has already gone on to be with the Lord, uh, that uh, it touches my heart. And to hear Sister Rachel uh, excited what's going on up there in the eastern part of Kentucky and that they're praying for one another. You know, that's, uh, that, that's what we try to teach people. Call for the elders, anointing them with oil. Get out of the house. Get out and about. Be busy for the kingdom of God. And when you've got a burden, call your brothers. Call your sisters and say, come on. Bring the whole bottle. But I need some prayers to get through. And as Sister Vicky was sharing that, um, you know, uh, 21 days. But remember the Lord, uh, the angel of the Lord said, the Lord heard you the first day. But there is a warfare going on, and it's real, and it's in the spirit realm. And the devil is trying his best to block off the blessings that God is wanting to give us. So we've got to stand on the word of God. We've got to stay dressed with the full armor of God on. And we must proclaim the gospel to a lost and dying world. And we lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Do you hear me tonight? So tonight, let's go to the Lord in prayer for Grandma Naomi and this fluid uh, situation and the, the short-term memory. We're going to speak life. The words of God is life. Let's speak the word of God into this situation in Jesus name dear heavenly father right now you know there in Idaho Lord we're just asking that your will be done Lord we know that we are healed by your stripes as we stand upon your promise and your word for grandma Naomi Lord we claim victory and Satan we rebuke you in the name of Jesus we speak to that short term memory right now to be healed in Jesus name as we plead the blood over Ni grandma Naomi right now right now it's so it's finished it's settled Jesus is our victory. Satan, we rebuke you. Take your hands off of God's property. This has amazed the doctors what our precious Lord and Savior has done. This is the glory of God shining down right here amongst his people. And we must continue to give him praise, glory, and honor for all things. For truly he is worthy. Do you hear me tonight, church? And that's what you do when you call in and you help participate on these programs. And you leave your comments in the comment box. Like Brother Monroe sharing scripture for us. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. 
uh, amen. Uh, thank you, because you, we don't know. The Lord's going to direct people to these archives. We don't know how many uh, people's going to come the next day, tomorrow, and a week after, and next year. These archives, the Word of God is going to continue to go forth out into this lost and dying world, my friend. I do need your prayers for me as I step out more and more to obey God. Uh, the Lord, uh, you know, and people say they want to go with me and help me do things in that expect, but you can't do that unless you're called. You, you've got to be called because <laughs> we need some prayer warriors too. But if you go with me, you, you got to count the cost because I'm going to, I'm going to give you a statement tonight. I'm going to give you the word of God tonight. Those of you that recall the, 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 the word of God where we're talking about, uh, Peter and John coming upon the lame man that was sitting at the gate. You've heard it preached many times. How they say the word, silver nor gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto you. Now, were they not men of God, and they don't lie? They didn't have money. Do you not get this? It doesn't take money to preach the gospel. It takes being a doer of the word of God. It takes being a doer of the Word of God. Now, it takes money to drive a car up and down the road. And I like to go in a car, but you better believe I'll walk if I have to. Or if the Lord just flat tells me to, I'm walking. I've done it. I've hitchhiked. I've done it. I've been out there. I'll do it again. That's no problem with that. But I wanted to share that with you because if you're listening tonight and you say, boy, I want to go do this and I want to go do that, well, get up and go. If you sit down and try to figure out how you're going to do it, you're never going to do it. You've got to step out in faith, and you've got to trust God, and you've got to be obedient to the Word of God, and God will put it upon the heart of His people, and the right people will sow into you. They will. Hey, listen, I've got to share this right now on Testimony Line. Those of you at home, take an apple. By faith, be obedient to the man of God that's giving you the Word of God. Get you an apple right now in Jesus' name. I'm going to play this song. Come right back. Hunt you an apple. Hunt you an orange. A fruit with a seed. Get you a fruit with a seed. After this song, I got a word I need to share with you right here on the testimony line. And uh, I guarantee if you'll grab a hold of God's word tonight, you're going to be blessed. Just ask Pastor Eddie Garrett. He's shouting victory tonight because he's seen what thus saith the Lord comes to pass. Amen. All right. Let me um, let me uh, cut that one off. I forgot and left it on again. I do that a lot. The testimony line is a pre-recorded line. We don't answer that live. If you want to call in live, you have to call us at one nine three one four eight four four five three one. Um, but we do appreciate the testimony line. Thank you, like Brother Boyd. Oh, my God. I, I, brother, I love you. Uh, I love you, man. All right, be blessed as I share this song with you, and then hunt you an apple, an orange. Uh, maybe you got some seeds uh, in a pack laying around. Get you some. Get them in your hand, because uh, after this song, I'm going to share a word with you from the Lord. Sunday morning, everybody gathered in. In the middle of the woods had a little white church house, and it would fill up with family and friends. Then the bell started ringing, and the choir started singing. The harmonies were sung to Jesus out in the middle of the woods. It was a Every Sunday, everybody gathered in. Some were clapping their hands, some were tapping their feet. But everybody had their mind on him. Then the preacher preached the Bible. He preached the message loud and good. It was an ordinary Sunday out in the middle of the world. How the Lord was so good, He was doing all He could And in the house there was not a dry eye When the roll is called up yonder It will ever more grow thunder Everybody gathered in Some 
were clapping their hands, some were tapping their feet. But everybody had their mind on him. And the preacher preached the Bible. He preached the message that I'm good. Tapping their feet But everybody had their mind on him Then the preacher preached the Bible He preached the message of good Yes he did He was an ordinary Sunday Out in the middle of the woods In the little white church house Out in the middle of the woods Yes, amen. All right, let me get over here and check the the phone line before I share the word with you, and then I'm going to share a a word with you. We was actually receiving a call right when I uh, uh, went to the song, so let me me do that. Let me check it real quick and um, share that with you, and then I've got a word I want to share with you real quick. It's not going to take long at all, but you want to have... You, you just want to have a uh, fruit in your hand or some seeds in your hand. Or um, if you ain't got no seeds, put a bunch of change in your hands. Because I'm going to show you uh, what the Lord's given me to give you tonight. And you'll see it right there. Right there. Right there where you're at. You're going to see it. Amen. Let me get over here and check this. Praise the Lord. All right. I know I'm a little slow. <laughs> Y'all know to pray for me on these computers, cause I I I just I ain't uh, I ain't the best. All right, be blessed as we listen to this in Jesus' name. Hello, this is Brother Boyd London in Idaho, and I was calling in here. My mom Jerry's here, and we've got my uh, grandma Yomi up. Uh, she's getting a breathing treatment uh, right now, on. and we'll be mm. getting some food and stuff for her. But I was gonna wanted to talk a little bit about what she needs prayers for. Okay, hold on. That did I not play the new one? I think we just heard that one. I think I messed up. Hold on a minute. No, that's it. Let's let me play it. Be blessed. I'm sorry I interrupted it. Be blessed and let me play it. I thought I hit the wrong one. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hello, this is Brother Boyd London in Idaho, and I was calling in here. My mom, Jerry's here, and we've got my uh, grandma, Yomi, up. Uh, she's getting a breathing treatment right now, and then we'll be getting some food and stuff for her. But I was going to wanted to talk a little bit about what she needs prayers for, and uh, thank you for your prayers. She was in the hospital. Her lungs had filled with fluid, and she was dying, and she's home with us now, and she's doing a lot better, and she loves you all, and she thanks you for the prayers, everyone that's been praying for her. I wanted to let my mom talk for just a second here about what all she needs prayers for specifically. And I'll put her on here. Thank you for your prayers for her. We are finding that she is having a problem with fluid retention, which can be caused from the the congestive heart disease, which we are praying is completely healed. And that can cause problems with her kidneys also so we are praying that her heart is healed that she no longer has problems with fluid retention that every system of her body is working fine and including her memory she's having quite a few problems with short-term memory so thank you so much for your prayers yeah, this is Brother Boyd again. That was my mom, Jerry, there. And we want to thank you for the prayers for Grandma Yomi that have helped her a lot. And again, for praying for her heart to be totally healed of the congestive heart failure. And then praying uh, for her memory also, that she'll have a good, clear memory. And uh, she really is doing a lot better. Uh, she can get up and walk to her toilet by herself. She can get up and walk to her chair. She's got a nice chair that she just re- we just recently got for there, a new chair. And she can sit in there and put the legs up and talk to us and eat and uh it just